Next ball game, it is going to be Mississippi State taking on Illinois. 12 o'clock Eastern kickoff on Monday the 2nd. Illinois is minus one and a half in the ReliaQuest Bowl. Totals 45 and a hook. And for those who don't know, the Illini actually allowed fewer points a game than any other defense in college football. They gave up just 12 points a game, which was an FBS best. They were also in the top three and fewest total yards allowed per game. Isaac Darkangelo and Sidney Brown, they had over 125 tackles combined. Uh, Brown was actually third in the country in interceptions. They're facing a Mississippi State team who just lost Coach Mike Leach um, in a uh, tragic death. And in addition to that, they had very little commitment to the run. The Bulldogs rushed for fewer yards per contest than every other team in college football except for one. Now when it comes to uh, this team, uh, Mississippi State failed to cover in four out of their last six. Uh, failures against the likes of Georgia, Auburn, and Kentucky. When it comes to the total, Mississippi State did go 4-2 and two to the under in those six ball games I just mentioned. Meanwhile, Illinois went 70% to the under in their last 10. When it comes to the uh, injury report, Chase Brown is sitting out for Illinois. Uh, the uh, very good running back, uh, not going to play. Uh, Lowry and McCray are questionable as well. And when it comes to the weather, hot and sunny in Tampa on Monday. I'm going to lean toward Illinois, minus one and a half, under 45 and a hook. Next matchup, Tulane, USC, one o'clock Cotton Bowl. USC's the two-point favorite, total 63. Now, this USC secondary may have their hands full with Tulane. They're, 100 and, uh, they're 112th uh, in the country in passing yards allowed. They also failed to cover against the likes of Utah, Cal, and Arizona. They're facing a Tulane squad who actually won the uh, AAC. And they beat some good teams to get that done. They beat Cincinnati and UCF in back-to-back -back weeks for that championship run. They also scored a whole bunch of points down the home stretch. Running back Ty J. Spears rushed for nearly 1,400 yards and scored 15 times. Meanwhile, quarterback Michael Pratt, he ran it in for double-digit touchdowns himself. And when it comes to defensive play, the Green Wave had a top-20 secondary. Now, injury-wise for USC, Voorhees and Addison are out. Williams and Jackson are questionable. And when it comes to the total, the Trojans saw their last seven straight get over the number. Meanwhile, Tulane went 6-1 to the over in their last seven. Give me Tulane plus two over 63. Next matchup, it is going to be LSU taking on Purdue, 1 o'clock Citrus Bowl. LSU's minus 14, totals 55 and a half. Now the Tigers beat the likes of Arkansas, Alabama, and Florida this year. They also scored over 32 points a game. And they finished in the top 30 in total yards. When it comes to defensive play, Perkins and Ojolari finished with over a dozen sacks between the both of them. They're facing a Purdue squad who's going to work without star quarterback Aiden O'Connell. And even when Purdue had him in, uh, they did very little to establish a run game. They're 101st in the nation in rush yards per contest. So that's going to be tough sledding with their backup. Now O'Connell, Trice, Durham, and Jones are all sitting out for Purdue. We walk for LSU. Jenkins is out. Langlois, Banks, and Daniels are questionable. When it comes to the weather report, hot and sunny, a kickoff in Orlando. Now, total-wise, LSU may put this one over the number themselves. They did go 6-1 and one of the over in their last seven. I'm going to lean toward LSU minus 15, over 55 and a hook. And with that, guys, we're going to jump into our next and final matchup for the video. It is going to be Penn State, Utah, 5 o'clock Rose Bowl. Utah is the three-point favorite, totals 52. Now, the Utes scored 40 points a game this year, and they finished in the top 10 in rushing. The Utes scored 37 times this year on the ground. When it comes to defensive play, this team was tough to move the sticks against. They finished in the top 20 in fewest yards allowed. Cole Bishop and R.J. Hubert, they combined for over 150 tackles. Now, they're facing a Penn State team who allowed 85 total points in their two losses to Ohio State and Michigan. They also failed to cover against the likes of Northwestern and Central Michigan. 
Now, total-wise, five out of Penn State's last seven got over the number. Utah saw overs against the likes of USC, Colorado, and UCLA. I'm going to lean toward Utah, minus three, over 52. And with that, guys, we're going to... And with that, guys, we're going to go ahead and jump into our quick pick recap. I like Georgia Southern, minus four and a half, over 67. Utah State, plus eight, over 60 and a hook. East Carolina, minus seven, over 64. And if you're joining me here today on TikTok, please feel free to give me a thumbs up by smashing that heart button. You have no idea how much I'd appreciate that. And if you haven't done so already, please feel free to give me a follow. I'd love to connect with you on a daily basis. Give me Wisconsin minus three and a half over 44 and a hook. UCF plus four over 62. Arkansas minus three over 68. North Carolina plus 15 over 75. Ole Miss minus three over 71. Syracuse plus nine and a half under 41 and a hook. Florida State, minus 9, over 65. Washington Huskies, plus 4, over 66. Maryland, minus 2, under 46. Pitt Panthers, plus 6, over 54. Notre Dame, minus 3, under 52. Wyoming, plus 2, under 43. Clemson, minus 5.5, under 63 and a hook. Kentucky, plus 2.5, under 32. Kansas State plus seven over 55 and a half. Michigan minus seven over 59. Georgia minus six over 62. Illinois minus one and a half under 45 and a hook. Tulane plus two over 63. LSU minus 15 over 55 and a half. With my next and final free pick, I'm going to lean toward Utah minus three over 52. And with that, guys, that's going to do it for me. Don't forget to check me out on my website. Now, if you guys do end up getting a membership here today on patreon.com slash Brock Page, you're going to get access to that membership for the next 30 days. As an added bonus here, guys, you're also going to get access to all of my cheaper memberships absolutely free. They're going to be included with your purchase. But most importantly, guys, got to thank you for joining me right here on YouTube. Really hope you enjoyed all this great free content, all this great free information. With that said, guys, happy bowl week to you. Best of luck to you. And I look forward to seeing you later on today on my website at patreon.com slash Brock Page.